Hello friends, welcome back. This is full stack development video series and we're building online course enrollment application. And this is episode 11. In this video, I will show you how we can configure the CI CD pipeline for the .NET Core 8 web API by using Azure DevOps. This will be very useful as a developer. So without delay, come let's get started. Okay, so the project source course for you guys, it is available in github.com. However, I'm going to demonstrate these in the DevOps, um, which is dev.azure.com. So my repository is placed in this one. So we're gonna see one by one. So I logged into dev.azure.com and this is my repository, see online course API. So if you want to do, you also take the code from GitHub and put it into your DevOps. So once you select the repository, click on pipelines and there you have something called new pipeline. See, these are the options you can choose based on where it is, but we are going to look at the DevOps. So I will choose the first one, but there are other repositories like GitHub and other source controls you can use, right? So, and then classic editor, if you go and click on classic editor, that's an old one. So we'll go with YAML. I selected the first one. Here it'll ask you to choose the project, right? So our project is here. So if you filter it, it'll come. Now this is our .NET core. So I will choose .NET, which is ASP.NET. Now it will read the, you know, the project and it is generating the uh, required code for us. All of these codes seems to be good, like uh, except the publish one. So let's go one by one. First one is trigger. Trigger this build based on the main branch. And the pool is to specify which image it is using to do this building and then some variables declaration. Okay, and now next thing is a step-by-step. -step. First, it will install the NuKit packages. Um, it will restore the packages into the uh, solution and then it will do the build. Um, that's what all of this configuration is. So once all the build is done, there's a test that Git performs. But the last step is that I'm going to copy paste. Basically, after the build is done, we have to zip the whole stuff, like the whole build content into a zip file. And that is what this step is doing. So what this step is will do is it will just make a zip file and it will uh, like artif it will just zip as a zip file and put it into a drop uh, folder. The artifact name is drop. Okay. So this is what the build is. That's it. It uh, we just need to give a name and I'm going to commit this to my whole main branch itself. Right. We need uh, this YAML file for us to uh, you know make this DevOps to work. So I'm going to uh, save it. It's asking me, can I commit in the main branch? Yes, of course, I'm going to save it. Immediately, the job got triggered. So this is the first job. It will take few minutes to finish. See, I just fast forwarded it. And these are the steps that you can see. Everything is success. Now we just have the build. The next step is the release pipeline. The first one that you saw was continuous integration. Continuous deployment is what we are going to see, which is the release pipeline. So here is our build pipeline. Build pipeline name is online course API. Okay. Now there's something called, um, if you go to this uh, project level, go to um, the pipelines and then go and click on release. Now it will show all of the release that I already have. I'm going to click on new, say new release pipeline. All right, so here we are going to deploy this into our Azure DevOps. So I'm going to choose the first one, apply it. Okay, we have these things. First one is the artifact. Artifact means the one that was built, that's the content is called artifact. So when you choose the project, like the build name, the artifact is automatically choose, you say add it. Now let's click on this one and select this one. Uh, this one is basically, uh, we are enabling it for the continuous deployment. Whenever the build is ready, the deployment release pipeline will get triggered. Okay, we will see in that. So click on the task and here you need to do the task. So this one, let's go one by one, right? So first was the name. You can choose whatever name. Say uh, in our case, it's just one play, only one thing we are deploying. That's why I'm naming it as production. But generally speaking, it will be dev, QA, stage, production. I have a similar video which has four deployment in pipeline. I will give you that in the description. And here you can go take a look at that. Now here, the Azure subscription, right? Because we're going to put this into the Azure. Let's in the previous video, we, did, we created the Azure web apps, right? So you can choose the Azure subscription here, or let's create a something called um, a specific uh, service principle. Service principle, I have already explained in one of my video, I'll give that also in the description. But if you look at this, the moment you choose, um, all of these things will come. So let's let's do this one by one, right? So if you look at, 
into our uh, resource group we have these two application right whenever you choose correctly we uh, those things will show up if i choose windows it will show up so what we are going to do is we are going to first create a new subscription like the new uh, service principal if you go to this your name the pro organization and project under settings there is something called service connection so you click on service connection a list of uh, service connections will be displayed so click on the service connection these kind of list will come and here we are going to create a new connection see i can use my existing connection but this is a brand new one so i have to create it so basically here you will select azure resource manager which is rg we call it as right so azure resource manager next and these are the authentication me mechanism so we are going to choose the service principle and choose as automatic so it will help us to finish everything by itself now it is loading the subscription see the scope level and all is at the azure level uh, but you choose your subscription and subscription gets loaded it will ask you to re-authenticate to make sure that you are the one who is using it or it is also another fact that if you have login of this devops in one place and if you have a portal on a different login you know that's why just to make sure where you are connecting it is asking you it is prompting you to log into the azure portal to get the permission so because for both of the azure portal and this devops i use the same login it is easy for me so i'm gonna authenticate myself once i approve this this will be authenticated automatically actually i'm doing this as we speak uh, the authentication app is prompting me see once i am done this will automatically come back to this original place now here it will list down based on the subscription that you choose if i have two so i am choosing whatever i want it will list down all the resource group under the subscription in our case our online course rg is what i want i select it now let's give some meaningful name so basically what we are trying to do is we are creating a secure uh, service principle meaning for uh, the azure devops to communicate with the azure portal we are creating a secure uh, you know a way and we are also telling hey this one this this whenever we use the service connection only the resources under this resource group are allowed to um, to deploy anything if you want to deploy use this service connection and deploy to some other website under your own subscription it won't work it won't even list down okay so we're going to choose this and then you can hit on save so this is a service connection which is a service principal identity to securely communicate from azure devops to portal without password okay without credential you should understand that so if you don't know service principal i will give you in the description link go please uh, take a look it's just a five minutes video all right so i can click on grant all permission and click on save oh by mistake i clicked on back but it's okay so when you come back it is still listing down great so i'm gonna quickly do this okay so i click on save the service connection is getting set up for us okay so the new service connection that is dealing with only that resource group and all the resources under the resource group so if you come here and refresh whatever you just created will come here so i'm choosing that after i choose that see it is listing down only the resource that is available under this resource group because both of our ui and uh, backend web app is windows so that's why if i choose windows it is showing two but if i choose linux nothing will be shown okay so we will select whatever we want here in our case the first one is the api one so i selected this is good we will save this under a folder i'm going to save this and then come back to the agent so here if you scroll down you need to um, uh, go to the next step so if you choose the last one deploy azure apps you have to select the deployment folder so if you scroll down this is the place where we have made this bundle so you choose this bundle like the zip file that we made it available based on the build pipeline once you have this packages folder selected we are all good let's go over all the tabs there is nothing that we need to do here so let's recap we made the stage we selected the artifacts we configured the service connection so that it can communicate with the azure portal and open up and, and deploy this code okay this is what we did and this is called a release pipeline so once all of these things are done we will save this and trigger a release 
so you can click on create release see first time allowed you probably have to manually do it but every time the build is triggered we have already enabled uh, continuous deployment if you remember the or what do you call that so you choose that one and then you we, we enabled it right so here the first time you deploy it it takes few minutes basically what it does is it will go take the zip file unzip it and then copy that and open up a connection to this uh, website behind the scene right it's all happening behind the scene and then it will deploy all the uh, content and it will set up the starting file and it will do everything that it has to do to make the website up so once the website is see once the deployment is done the website will be up you just need to go and hit on the url and the website will be up fully configured the ci cd pipeline for our dotnet core web api and this is very simple it's easy to do from devops and i'm going to use the devops for this one so go ahead try it i hope you enjoyed this video guys and in the next video i will show you ci cd pipeline for angular application so that we can deploy that if you like this video do subscribe to my channel share this with your friends and if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding